France 24's terrorism expert Wasim Nasser joins us on set now. Hello, Wasim. Hello. Uh, so why did this attack happen now? Was there a meaning behind the timing, and should we expect a very bloody mm. response? Well, it happened now because uh, there was an opportunity to do it, and because the, tar the main targeted person was the Minister of Defense, who was present. And according to some uh, sources, the drones actually, who were eight uh, manufactured drones, arrived late. And this is why it hit just at the end of the uh, ceremony, and we have many who were killed because of this gradu officer's graduation uh, ceremony with the families. So many civilians were killed too, but a lot of military too, and at least two uh, generals of the Syrian army uh, were killed. And actually, if we look towards the opposition areas, we know that it's uh, like 120 kilometers away from Homs. So it's very difficult for just an artisanal drone like this to reach or to go this far. So some sources think that it went off from uh, the Badia of Homs that we see here, meaning the areas controlled by the regime, but desertic areas which are huge and where there's not, uh, no real control. So most probably the drones, the eight drones, uh, didn't go from the opposition areas, but from the regime-owned areas. And... Uh if you would stay with us, because we have mm. another story out of Syria that we want to get your take on. Uh, in northern Syria, Turkey has carried out airstrikes on sites believed to be backed by U.S.-backed Kurdish militant groups. This follows the U.S. military shooting down an armed Turkish drone that came within 500 meters of American troops. Now, Turkey has been carrying out strikes on Kurdish militant targets in Iraq and Syria in response to a suicide attack outside a government building in Ankara. Uh, uh, now, Wasim, um, what is Turkey's goal here with these targets, and how is it complicated by its ally, the United States, being involved? Of course, it's very complicated. Uh, it's an ongoing Turkish operation, actually. And as you said, responding to the uh, terror attack that occurred in Ankara and which was claimed by the PKK, and actually it is ongoing in Iraq and in Syria. On the Iraqi side, uh, the operations are being done or coordinated with the authorities of Iraqi Kurdistan. But it's another ball game in Syria, since the the the, uh, the Turks and we see here the the latest areas that they hit between yesterday and today are hitting the YPG, so the Syrian uh, part of the uh, PKK, which is a terrorist organization. But knowing that the YPG is part of the Syrian Democratic Forces, backed by the U.S. and by Western and by Western uh, powers, so it's a very complicated game. And, uh, and as you said, one Turkish drone was hit by an American F-16 because it went too close to American positions. This is not the first time that the Turkish drone goes near American positions. We remember the, uh, the attack of Soleimani, but it is the first time that a drone is downed by the U.S. Knowing that yesterday uh, there was a, a press uh, conference where the U.S. said that it sticks to the alliance with Turkey, that it uh, understands the security concerns of Turkey in Syria, and it was an incident, meaning it's behind. But still, it shows us uh, to what extent the military and political situation is complicated in this part of Syria. Wasim Nasser, France 24's terrorism expert, thank you for thank helping you. us understand this very complicated story. Thank you.